we need to be very much aware of the ethics of all these treatments, not just IVF. I mean, I think we understand very well that we've got to be very cautious about making sure that people um, don't get the wrong sperm or eggs or not uh, being treated when they're ridiculously old or too young. But I think a much bigger ethical responsibility is the commercial process. And of course that we can't control. And of course we're a non-commercial organization. So the IVF that goes on here is in fact, as far as we're concerned, is entirely free. So the research we do is not charged to the patient. And we, I think as a group, would argue the research we do should be charged to the charity. And that, I think, is an important principle. But I don't think we need a code of ethics for that. I think that's just common sense. And sadly, what has happened with IVF, seeing as you mentioned it, is it's become very big business. But, you know, there are ethical issues in every aspect. I mean, the big ethical issues about caring for a newborn child that may not survive, and may, if it does survive, be brain damaged. Do you switch the life support off, or do you hope that it might get better when you can't predict exactly what's going to happen? So those are problems that our people, our clinicians, deal with every day. And they're very difficult problems to deal with.